all right guys here we are once again and we're inside of blender and as you guys remember yesterday i did an hour and 15 minute sculpt of patrick stewart i tried to do a likeliness test because i've never challenged myself in that area it's good practice for uh sculpting inside of blender now once i completed that yesterday i didn't know what i wanted to do next if i wanted to scrap this project in general and just move forward to doing a different likeliness just to further progress or if i wanted to just push this forward to the pipeline so what i ended up doing was uh, pushing this forward so I added more details to the surface inside of blender using uh, alphas and uh, basically adding like wrinkles um, skin pores you know um yeah all those kind of cool things and then I retopologize this using a uh, retopo flow and created a low poly version which I um, did automatic UVs then I packed the UVs, then I sent this through Substance Painter. Now, I could have easily have textured this inside of Blender, but I felt I get a better result inside of Substance Painter. Uh, I'm more comfortable myself inside of Substance Painter. And that's one thing as an artist, what you want to do is what's easier for you, what's comfortable, what's more efficient and faster, right? So I took it into Substance Painter, the low poly, of course, then I baked the high poly detail onto the low poly mesh. So this low poly you know now has that detail from the high poly and as well in substance painter I can go further in depth with some of the microscopic details which you see here and also I added some subsurface scatter and if you guys don't know what that is it's just this um it's the material here that makes it look soft like more skin and it absorbs light the way actual skin does so if you've ever seen someone in front of a light and the way the light passes through their ear that's a similar thing to subsurface scatter so without it it will look something like this really rugged and hard so I added some um, subsurface scattered and I changed the mid-tone to a uh, pink color as well as I added some breakup and variation throughout the skin some lights some darks you know and I paid attention to areas that fold because that's where it tends to be a bit darker because of overlapping of uh, skin right so uh, with this being done I um, texture to here and if I say I'm done now the next step in the process would to be to take it back to blender so I could add some you know some really microscopic detail add some peach fuzz add some fur you know um mustache eyebrows things like that add some hair around the side and also one thing I do want to do is he looks kind of scary without a shirt I don't know about you guys but he looks definitely a little bit um scary to me so I want to add a shirt to him so I might give him the same like uh, shirt that he wore inside of Star Trek make him look more like that because to me he looks a bit too young to be Professor X you know because I wanted to dial back the age and I might have dialed it back too much so uh, I'll just have him as his character that he played on Star Trek so um yeah hopefully you guys like this uh, presentation and if you did give it a thumbs up comment what you liked about it what you didn't like about it and I'll catch you guys tomorrow have a good one